everyone, this is Scott, and today we're taking a closer look at the IKEA Nordly range of uh, flexible storage. Um, it's a set of drawers um, which comes in different shapes and sizes um, and two different colors, so you can absolutely build uh, whatever you want. Um, I'm in our uh, master closet. We've uh, upgraded our built-in storage, um, or added built-in storage. We didn't have it before. And uh, really pleased um, with the quality and the price. They're really, really very solid. Um, and they do come in two different colors and different uh, sizes as well. And you can stack them together like we've done here. So that's uh, two three drawer units uh, stacked on top of one another. Um, you also get, you know, uh, these uh, drawers here, which are um, about 31 inches wide. The uh, smaller ones are 15 inches wide. And what we've done over here on this side is we've combined two of the 31 inch drawers um, but with the longer uh, top so that this is not two side by side units these are this is one um, you know single uh, unit now so it's really flexible in what you can do um, and uh, you know in terms of sizes and uh, uh, how you configure them is is really um, you know flexible they feel pretty solid. Um, I have to say when I tested in the store, not quite as solid as I was hoping, but you know, they do have this soft clothes, which is really nice. And uh, actually once you have clothing or bedding inside, um, they do feel more, a little bit more um, solid. So at the end of the day, now that we've got um, clothes in them, I'm really quite happy. And uh, the smaller drawers as well um, work. Uh, even better because I think just the size of them, you know, they feel even more solid. So this is not uh, the sort of cheap flat pack furniture that you might be afraid of. Um, this is is really good quality. Like the base of the drawers, for example, is pretty thick um, wood, so it feels you know strong and, and something that I think um, will last. You might notice that for these uh, drawer units, the top and the bottom. And same on the other side are actually black, or uh, as Ikea call it, anthracite. Um, when I bought these drawers, the top and the bottom were only available that day in black. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just buy the black. Maybe I'll paint white to match. It actually turned out really quite nice. So just decided to leave it as it is. The other drawers, um, we've obviously got uh, in, in all white. So... I've been really pleased with them. I think uh, I think they're going to last a long time. One thing uh, just to warn you about, um, you know, IKEA are very stringent. Um, when you buy these, they make you sign a disclaimer, and uh, the drawers do contain this warning um, about tip over. So every drawer set um, comes with a bag of screws like this, um, so you can attach the top of the back of the drawer to the wall and that's important for safety so they do make you sign that you've actually seen that and you should do it I've done it um, on the tall drawers I haven't yet done it um, on the shorter ones but uh, that will be a job for another day so if you keep watching what I'm going to cover is just how easy it is to build these um, one modular unit like for example these ones here takes about an hour um, but every one you build, you can probably shave five or ten minutes or so off that. You do definitely get faster the more of them that you build. So let's take a look at that. So make sure if you're buying these, you need to buy the top and the bottom separately. They come in a box separate from the drawers themselves, right? So you see that's the drawers, top and bottom are dashed lines. Um, so let's see how long it takes me to build these. For assembly, all you're going to need is a few tools. Um, you definitely need the two screwdrivers, a flathead and a Phillips. Um, hammer is handy um, later, but not really essential. I always like to have an electric screwdriver on hand. It just makes things go so much faster. The only tool that comes in the box is this wrench, which is used for adjusting the feet, but only after you've installed the drawers. Um, you just hand tighten them when you uh, first put them on the base. When you open up the box, you'll see that the bags of parts are numbered. 
Um, so when you go through the manual at the start, it tells you what those are. Then you get to these pages. This kind of looks like it's the instructions, but it's not actually the instructions. They start here with the numbered sequences. So just turn a few pages in until you get to, to this part. A little tip for you when I'm building flat back furniture, I always use a stool to sit on and a foam kneeling pad to kneel on. It just makes it a lot more comfortable for old bones. Step one is very easy. You screw these adjustable feet in here and you put the little uh, felt pad on as well. So you do that on each side and uh, then you flip it over. So we flip it over, put the two wooden dowels in on each end and then this little plastic track goes on top. There will be a gap at this end. You might be wondering why there's holes in the middle of the piece of wood. Um, that is if you're using the uh, half size drawers. Um, I'm using full size drawers. So today these will be empty or left empty. If you have the 15 inch drawers, then you would be using those uh, as well. So. Dials on each end, plastic track in each end, that's it. Next up, you put four of these uh, metal uh, anchors in on each end. So with that done, that literally took a few minutes. Um, we're now done with the base for now. We're gonna switch over to the box with the drawers and build those. All right, so this is step one for the drawers themselves. Uh, like before, the bags are numbered, uh, A and B in this case, um, which is good, you won't get them confused. Uh, so start by laying out uh, these two pieces. These are actually the ends of uh, each side. And uh, we're gonna put in some of these little round guys, and then we're gonna screw on the uh, drawer, uh, drawer runners. Drawer guides are marked left and right, so uh, Make sure the ones on the left go on the left and the ones on the right go on the right. So with the drawer glides attached, it should, each piece should be a mirror image um, of each other. These are the sides to, to the drawers. That's the left side, that's the right side. We're gonna stand them up in a minute. Um, you'll see how that goes. Okay, next step, um, we're gonna put four of these uh, metal screws in. They always go in the smaller holes. The wooden dowels go in the slightly uh, wider holes. So the, the four screws are now in along with the four dowels. And now we're gonna take this uh, piece, which is actually the back of the unit. Just make sure you have it the right way around. There should just be two holes. Um, the holes on the other side go uh, towards the back. Around the back side, the back uh, is now attached. You see the four um, large round holes there, they should be facing to the back. And then uh, you see the little uh, metal screws there, they poke through, so we put in one of these uh, guys uh, in here. Like that. But we flip that so it's on its side and now we attach uh, the other side in exactly the same way. Look. Back around the front we go, and you can see it's starting to look like a chest of drawers now. Uh, next stage is to install this metal bar, which goes uh, here uh, along the top for strength. Okay, so the bar just screws in. Make sure that you put these uh, three holes up. That's the correct way to fit this. So with that in, the body of the drawers is now complete, um, and we can actually put it on top of the base. So let's do that, then we'll get on to the drawers. Okay, that's the body setting on the base. And you just uh, screw these four and met that. Okay, we're now moving on to the drawers. So these are the drawer fronts. You uh, flip them over so they're in their back with the holes. And then we're gonna put in uh, two of these in each end of each uh, drawer. Okay, so with that done, we move on to the drawers. We put uh, a uh, two dowels in one end of the drawer fronts. Drawer fronts are the same, left and right. Um, and of course, then all we do is we stand uh, it up like so. And it goes on 
Well, like that. And then these plastic pieces go in the background holes. So you put um, a drawer front on each, uh, well, sorry, one end of each drawer, but you leave the other end open. And the reason is that the base of the drawer uh, isn't just straight, it's got this um, sort of cut out edge. So you need to be able to snap this in place like so. And you can't do that if you've got both ends of the drawers on. It just slides into this groove on the left. Then you can put on the other end um, of the drawer front like so. All right, so with the base uh, now attached to each drawer and both uh, drawer sides um, put on, then we take the back of the drawer, this piece, and it simply goes uh, on like that. And then we put in the fittings. Four of these go in uh, each drawer to one end to the other, and then we're gonna put in the little plastic uh, round thingy on the other side. These are the plastic thingies. Four of those uh, go in each drawer. Well, the drawers are almost complete. We just take these plastic parts. Um, they go uh, here. Just so that's what it looks like with those pieces on. Plastic bumper uh, in each corner. That's the drawers complete now. So we just need to attach them into the base and put the uh, top on. With the drawer in, you just line it up here and you push this little white plastic part back like that and it just locks the drawer in place so that it's not gonna come off the runner. So with that plastic piece latched on both sides, um, if you try and lift up, the drawer is not gonna detach from the runner. And that's it, they are soft closed drawers. Let's put the other one in. Four dowels go on the top of the drawer unit and then the four uh, pieces go on the bottom of the top side. And that's it. So don't put the uh, top drawer in until you've uh, attached the top. So you need to put those in and then tighten those four uh, in total. Then you can put it in the drawer. And that's it complete. So just over an hour. Now once it's complete, you may end up with some spare parts. That's totally normal. These parts would have been used if we'd been using the smaller drawers. So it'd be double the number of the drawers. Uh, four smaller ones instead of two large ones. And each um, Nordly comes with this, uh, which is to affix it uh, to the wall. Um, that's a very important. Uh, safety step because um, you don't want kids or pets tipping the drawers uh, over. The safety cord uh, attaches to the underside of the top of your drawers. It goes through a pre-drilled hole on the back. And then that uh, cord attaches to another screw uh, which is inside of your wall.